Welcome to RimWorld, where today we have unlocked the power of magic. By magic, I mean Thornsworth hol holography. Ho 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 holography. Hologram. The, holo the hologram. <laughs> Thornsworth and his oh so tasty cinnamon holograms. Here we are with digital storage at long last. Arguably the most advanced thing we've got in this entire mod packet. It really doesn't go anywhere else from here in terms of uh, in terms of technology. But it's uh, it's a technology of convenience rather than being super overpowered. It just means we don't have to have warehouses um, absolutely everywhere full of shit. This, my friends, is not the good old fashioned digital storage unit we all know and love that can store infinite items and provide all sorts of conveniences by teleporting items across the map. This is a shitty digital storage unit for shitty Legal Lee, shitty Fat Larry, and all of their shitty friends in this shitty rainforest. God, I hate it here. Uh, it's it's basically got a maximum stack size of 100 or something like that. Uh, it's it's the most heavily nerfed version of the digital storage unit. Because again, this isn't, high, this isn't about high tech, okay? It's about people in a dirty room on a concrete floor covered in blood and shit making... D th drugs. That's it. I'm going to say it, YouTube. I don't care, Susan. And I thought having a full-on digital storage unit or any of the factory mods already kind of overshadow... Overshadow human suffering, which is what we're all here for, let's be honest. I mean, holy shit, look at them go, though. Fat Larry, don't mingle. Get out of there. Look at them go. Wow, this is... This is working really well. Should consider slave labor a bit more often. <laughs> Mitten Min Pop Idol is binging on Zopio because she's recreation starved. Incredible, Min. Nice work. You've been that bored, you just feel like you're going to do a bit of heroin. Oh, wow, well, shit. I'm too busy all day playing RimWorld and doing YouTube videos. I haven't had time for my regular CBT, so I'll just, uh, just do a bit of heroin. Why not? <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Is it 10 p.m. already? Time for a tad bit of opium. So apparently the AI, uh, not only are we obviously making new settlements and doing new things, so is the AI, which is frightening because they're probably far more competent at doing that than I am. Uh, somebody said that, that there is a desert island down here that I could have just sent settlements over to. Wow, it really do be like that, eh? That would have really cut some time off of our, uh, off of our settlement. How much, bear in mind we've taken isolation, which is fantastic in the sense that we get, you know, big, 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 chunky gold out of it. Uh, bad in the sense that, oh man, this is great. Yeah, it's all 1.56. Hey, good spot person in the comments yesterday. 0.56. Yeah, so we could put down two settlements there. Obviously, those two tiles aren't adjacent. Um, that one's actually not bad for... We could go like one, two, three right there. Because that one's also 1.25. What is this tile like? Um, it's an oasis. So it doesn't actually have any modifiers. That's up. Obviously, modded biomes don't include that. That's fantastic. We should call you Prophet Isle. Suffering Isle. Because it's a desert covered in mountains. So Trozzy doesn't have a bedroom. Uh, why are there fucking bows in these bedrooms all the time? Every time I check one of these bedrooms, it's covered in fucking weapons. I guess we'll, um, I guess we'll go with the uh, original sensible idea I started doing, and that's putting down some extra buildings kind of elsewhere. Um, a stick one over, well, basically wherever we can that won't end up in the swamp. God, I hate this rainforest. Give me fucking hiccups, it's that bad. Right, that'll probably do. That, that's, t that's two bedrooms still, right? And that's all we need for the time being, because I think it's only Trussie that doesn't have anywhere to sleep. Um, how, how are you doing? Shooting a few bullets. Okay, yeah, but I need you to kind of sleep now so I can see if we've got a bedrooms, pal. <laughs> Peace in our time. Holy crap, what an animal collection we've got. Oh, knock dog Dimidome's run down Methodome. Steamfort faction. Who are they the pirates? Steamfort, Steamfort. Elder's stream. Oh dear. Not again. <laughs> Don't panic, it's okay. They were at Pizza Express in Woking. What am I looking at here? Bats tree. Who are the Steam are they the pirates? Agency? Bandits? Bucko drink. Oh, of course that's Bucko drink. Sorry, my bad. Purple, purple stream. So what streams with these guys? Oh yeah, there they are. Steam Fort. I guess they must be pirates then, eh? Uh, it just shows them up as uh, as other bandits. The Grey... Oh, Grey Clubs are pirates. Steam Forts are Corsairs. And then there's Bilge Pier and Bucko Drink. Squirt Fuzz Ripple Lumber. <laughs> Lad Broom Jolly Strap. Was it Friday already? These are incredible names. Holy shit. I'll be honest, I did look at doing a pirate mod for this series where we run smugglers rather than uh, drug lords. The boats mod unfortunately isn't updated and they said it's not going to be updated basically for a long time. Obviously vanilla expanded vehicles is coming out soon. So when that hits, oh my God, the adventures of Bucko drink. What do we need for you? Gold, plastic, components, a hundred components. Holy shit. Uh, we've got 1,700 steel. So I'm going to tithe some good old fashioned plastic instead. Steel, but slightly cooler. And also, 
Like nine times more expensive. Don't do the maths on that. Like five times more expensive. Let's go for that then. Um, let's, I mean, we can afford to take a bit of a loss here. Um, so not only can we obviously crank our profits, but let's also, let's go for like 500. Oh, well, that's maximum. Oh, well, that saved me a job. Bear in mind, we're working on every prosthetic in the world right now, and we can't exactly build that. What have we got here? Four barnet legs. Man, it cracked out a lot though, eh? Well, let's go through and look, I mean, peg legs, I, I did include in the list of like essentially missing legs because it's 60% efficiency. They got a long way to run. Um, but I feel like poor old fat Larry takes the, uh, takes priority here. <laughs> so Lee, Larry, Kais, and Dong all have legs coming their way because they're either, you know, extremely useful or have the lowest movement. I think Kais is at 45%, something like that. Um, so Dong, I'm giving the leg. He doesn't necessarily need it as desperately as some of the others, but he's also a crafter. So the sooner we give him the leg, the sooner he can get the bloody crafting done. And then more people can have legs. Just leg all the way down. Should we make some Yayo? I mean, that's obviously rhetorical. Of course, I'm going to make Yayo. The question is... I mean, look, shit. We've got like <laughs> 812 smoke leaf joints. We've got to sell for a start. That's a lot of, that's a lot of money. 7.70. But the point is, now that we've got somebody who is... Do we, want, do we want variety or do we want just pure profits? Do we want to stop the smoke leaf game now that we've trained our prisoners up, now that they've got the skill necessary to make Yayo and just go for Yayo instead? Bigger risk, bigger reward. We'd have to build them a drug slab. They've, they've got a drug slab. I guess... Uh, oh, we're also making skag, though, too, aren't we? Fucking hell. Um, that's a fair point. What the hell do I want to do here? I mean, Yayo is 14 market value, whereas skag is 35. And that costs 18 a day for addiction, whereas Yayo was... Uh, Yayo is what? Like, the same as smoke leaf, isn't it? 12 a day. So, ideally... Skag is the way forward. We're going to need a lot more of these dream flower pods, though, because it's quite, in fact, we're not even growing any right now. Let's swap that up for dream flower, see if someone can actually grow it. I believe one of our prisoners has enough plant skill to handle it. And if it's just one field, the other guys can deal with the other ones. But my next point was going to be today, we militarize. Methadone, I'm sick of it constantly being clapped. We are constantly being clapped. Or, well, actually, we haven't lost anyone, but our limbs, especially, are being clapped. I militarized very slightly, by which I mean I've plugged in the turrets that we've had built for ages that I just, well, hadn't bothered to actually connect up to power. I think we even had this at the end of yesterday, just sat there off the grid for a long time, um, wasting power. So now we've got all that plugged in. It's barely anything, but I know people people are more interested in, uh, in a non-killbox series this time around. So we're going to have just kind of fortifications, you know, defended defended areas um, that allow people get in and out. I want to I want to thicken up this wall as well, give it a proper thicken at some stage. But the big part of our militarization today is going to come from another military settlement, essentially. So when we've got this uh, when we've got this tithing of plasteel, I'm probably going to flip them all over to to most likely silver, so that we can set up and fund a proper military settlement capable of defending our other settlements. It's going to cost us a fucking fortune, because of course we're also isolationist. Fat Larry, what's going on? Is he waiting for his, uh, waiting for his surgery? He's not been... Okay, so he hasn't been anesthetized. Hang on. Right, you see an issue here. Fat Larry had the armor equipped. The vanilla expanded armor. Uh, from the Vikings, but I forget what it's called now. Um, probably is called Crypto Armor in hindsight. That armor has since broken, but Fat Larry still has the Crypto Bleed applied. So he's got minus 30% pain and more importantly, cannot bleed to death. The only thing that can kill him is like having his head blown off or his internal organs utterly destroyed because he can't, like he quite literally cannot die. That is, um, that's very overpowered. If that's, it's like the armor has bonded to him. Fat Larry has ascended. Fat Larry, legendary ice wizard. This is like, uh, this is like some Sub-Zero backstory. Let's go and speak with my good friend's, old oh, zoological trader. I don't want these animals. We've got enough fucking animals, for God's sake. I'm not just talking about Fat Larry. So I want to sell them, preferably some drugs. Why does no one want to buy my fucking drugs? It's a channel theme right now. I guess we'll take the medicine, try and make some of these barnic surgeries go a little bit better. They're selling... Uh, more dipropodons, dip, 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 uh, much like crack jars. You can buy some yaks. Um, titan bower eggs, those are, those are giant snakes. I, I don't think it's necessary. You buy a penguin. I just want to sell a drug. 
I thought maybe we could get them hooks. Hey, the first one's free. Classic drug dealer. I forgot about that. The first one's free. The first one, it's on me. It's on me. They won't even take it for free. For fuck's sake. Oh, Larry, I feel like I'm not cut out for this drug dealer thing. <sighs> there it is. 415 plastic. That's actually quite a lot. To be fair, it did cost us a fortune when you consider what we could have made from, from just profits instead. So how are we looking on the workforce then? Uh, about 591 from that one. That one going down there is a Remison warehouse, cost a thousand silver, um, but does increase both tithe and taxes. So if we do want to do something like this where we flip it over to um, kind of temporary profit instead, that works pretty well. How much we got left over? 2,000. It might be worth investing a little bit more into these guys before we expand that into another one. The whole point of isolationist is to play tall. To be honest, though, they're constantly getting collapsed. They're constantly dropping our profits. Sure, they're not being destroyed. But we're not getting nearly what we could be getting out of them here. So instead, let's go for that new colony. And we could build this basically anywhere. On a road would be the most convenient. Um, I think we could well, just put them as close as possible, right? I saw somebody with a... Wait, 1,250. Is that not... Wait, what? Why is it so Why is it so cheap? Did I not take isolationist this time? Maybe I'm losing my mind. I feel like that's cheaper than it should be. I'm not going to complain. Oh, there you go. Right, uh, it's like half the cost... Actually, I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm overthinking it. And they are. Bloody hell, that was fast. De Deos. Terrible name. Absolutely 10 out of 10. The LS Defense Force. Sometimes I astound even myself. <laughs> uh, let me guess. Oh, we can, we can build barracks. Okay. Uh, have we got anything else here? Anything, any, anything at all that might help out with combat? Although we're going to be slightly under... The, yeah, it's a thousand for the next cheapest one. And we're slightly under that now, aren't we? Balls. Dong's going to have to operate on Caius. But he's got a barnic arm. Although he's still under the effect of anesthetic. So this could be... Uh, this could be danger zone. What's his manipulation? 91%. Well, we'll see how this goes. God, they love throwing diseases at us, don't they? It's just constant. He's fine. I thought it was worth the gamble. Relations with our faction are very slowly recovering. Although, to be fair, that's probably just the average increase by having the new settlement uh, making it... 100. Should we clean this place up? Look at them working, though. This is insane. Gene's actually working on the Yayo. Hello there. Do we get any profit at all from this place? Uh, yeah, we can kind of get them to pay for their own barracks by... I, I mean, to be honest, there, there aren't enough defense buildings in the game to fill up all eight slots, so eventually we'll be able to turn a good profit from them as well by building some sort of... I mean, obviously, we'll probably go for animals here, seeing as that's their... It's so their highest value. Uh, have they got anything else? We could have them making medicine. That also works okay. Um, might also be quite a bit more preferable for tithing as well. Let's, let's just keep on that. Let's keep on that. Cancel out the cost. Oh, 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 would you look at that. My good friend, Lumpy. Take the drug. I yeah, can't afford it. Uh, okay, take, take some. What do we want from them? I'll take the components. We need a shitload of components for that bloody digital storage unit. I will take the neutral I mean. I will take... Uh... Your steel? Fine. Uh, gold. Gold and plasteel. Gold and plasteel. Uh, we've got one gold. They've got none. Brilliant. Oh, that's nice. They still can't afford it. <laughs> oh my god. We're not having this problem in both series as well. Uh... Look, 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 look. look. Take 500. And maybe some more. And call me in the morning. Okay, let's just take them up to their limit here. There we go. Oh, right, it's an honest work. It's an honest work. You can't just expect them to turn up and have enough silver to buy every drug in the colony, okay? You've, you've got to what you've got to graft, and you've got to make it happen. But follow your dreams, people at home. For, don't just don't just wait for your dreams to come to you. Get out there, chase them, and you too can be a successful dealer like Fat Larry. Holy shit! Seventy-five goodwill for that. One centipede, two pipemen, one scyther, one toxic spear, one counter activator. The rest is irrelevant. Oh, I could be very persuaded with that one. Unless they land here, at which point they can go fuck themselves. Unfortunately, I can't control that. 75 goodwill with the Empire. So we don't really get much out of it besides the fact that they'll fuck off and leave us alone. And they'll let us do our drugging in peace. Which I'm sure is not the right word. <laughs> 3.8 days. How, how much could we militarize in 3.8 days? Cloth, steel, components. How many of the either of the we we have enough for at least one of them? Are we growing cloth? We're not. We should really be growing just more crops in general, to be honest, because we seem to have a a dearth of resources. Uh I'll st stick down a growing zone then. Here. One. Boom. Fourteen by fourteen. Not including water tower. That right there? Food of some description. 
peas are very, very good in the rainforest because peas grow faster in the rain. And I'm, I don't want to spoil it for you, but in the rainforest, there just happens to be a lot of... Well, I think you know where I'm going with that. Uh, let's expand this one out. Let's go cloth. I don't want to go too hard on... <laughs> I don't want to go too hard on growing too many crops because it is such a detriment to their time if they are spending hours and hours and hours. Look, they've just left it out here to rot. I fucking get it inside. Then I'll try and make everybody a set of armor. Now, we've, we've got the weapons tab mod, but it's not the weapons tab mod that shows you the weapon stats. It's the weapons tab mod. Uh, very confusing. So we could just set them up with... I'd, I'd like to get them all with an actual proper setup, you know? Um, I suppose we could just force apparel, couldn't we? Because we're, we're not going to have... We're not going to have good guns across the board for a while either. Legally. Hello. Uh, let's go for some big gun. We could go trooper armor, um, which we've got all the prerequisites for. That's a quite a nice cheap way to get some good armor going here. We could go heavy weapons. I would really like to go for somewhere. <clears throat> so somewhere. They've moved all the research tree around. I'm so confused. Uh, charge munitions. Yes. Give me that. So we need precision rifle and gas operation first, which I was probably going to go for anyway. Then we get pulse charge. If we can get by the end of today, this is ambitious. This is the most ambitious thing I've ever said in my entire life. Trooper armor and charge rifles. Turn this from a from a from a shed in the forest that just happens to have a load of drugs into it into a proper full blown business, registered business. Now crack home's about to be clap cl cl clapped clapped home. Terrible. Uh, defense settlement. I mean, we could, but with what is a uh, brilliant question. Let's take a look here. They probably have the highest military level, despite the fact that we've only, <laughs> we've only upgraded one thing, right? Military level of two. Yep. Yeah, they really do. We, we could send these people to their death. I assume it'll mitigate some losses, though. How are we doing in terms of silver now? 2,100 from, 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 our, from our previous legitimate sale. Uh, in that case, stick down some... I mean, artillery outpost, I guess, works a little bit. It would be beneficial. Is it not like Merc Company plus like Adventurer's Guild gives plus one each? So that'd be the cheapest way to upgrade it. Um, oh, it's 500. There you go. Okay, so that's two more military levels. And then if we deploy them, you never know. By the time they get there, it might be upgraded. Although I very much doubt they haven't got fast travel. Let's go to the world. Uh, who's under attack? Crack home, right? Uh, defend with you guys. Godspeed. They're all going to die horribly. But we get plus two. Or is it plus one? I thought it was plus two when we defended our own settlements. They have an effective force of three. I don't know why. Oh, is it the base level of the settlement you're defending plus the defenders? That would make more sense because that's two and one. And two and one do indeed make three. I don't think we took the one that gave uh, bonus to defense site plus two when you're defending because we went for the uh, we went for the profits instead. Which, are, which is, you know, kind of the point of the series. So I'm not going to explain that much. Right, let's get these guys plumbed in. We'll plumb them into this one. These guys have got their own separate little uh, little hygiene area. We really should work on water treatment too because they are just drinking filthy rainforest water. Oh. Well, never mind about the mechanoids then. Mech cluster with a climate adjuster. Uh, what climate adjuster are they doing? How, how do I find out the effect of this here climate adjuster? Hello? Climate adjuster, radius 10, mech cluster. Yeah, what, what's it doing though? There's a climate adjuster and there's a mech cluster. You want to tell me what it's fucking doing? What do you mean mech cluster with a climate? Does it not normally say the temperature change? Am I going insane? Maybe I am. Hang on. Uh... <laughs> I feel like I'm feel like I'm losing my mind. Does it does it say it only on the it's only on the actual climate changer itself, right? So we have no idea the effect of this, although it is 40 degrees outside. It could just be the rain that it's doing, which I mean, given our new pea industry, I wouldn't complain about that, not in that way. But I'm not sending a bunch of barely armed people to go and fight a mech cluster when we've got rifles older than most of the people holding them, which is impressive given that Kaius is uh roughly 400 years old. Right on cue, Dong has contracted diarrhea from drinking untreated water. Brilliant. Was well, a quick note as well. Uh, I've removed runtime GC because I have a feeling that's what's interrupting some of the raids actually spawning in because I think it's cleaning the people that are supposed to be raiding us because we've got dynamic diplomacy, things like that. Um, I will publish an updated version of the model list. I've been meaning to do it for four days. I'm very busy. Look, I'm, I never, I don't even get five minutes to myself, so you're going to have to bear with me here. Um, I will update that tonight, though, so that you can follow along with the, and it is save compatible, evidently, because we're still playing RimWorld. If you're having issues with raids not turning up when they should be, or raids turning up less frequently than they normally would, it's almost certainly down to that. Uh, all I would recommend doing is running it once more, cleaning it, saving it, 
removing the mod and then loading into that new save where it's been removed. It should work fine after that because the game's very good at uh, fixing problems with factions, basically. Oh, silver, you say? How are we doing? Did we find out the results of that, that battle yet? Is it still going down? Oh, shit. We actually won. Wow, who'd have thought that bothering to defend your people might pay off? <laughs> oh, that's why the research is taking so long. Because I set legally to wardening, so he's keeping an eye on the prisoners, which is why we're getting so much good stuff produced here. But it's cut into our research pretty significantly. Uh, I mean, shit, look. Legally stop. Fat Larry take over. I think it's probably a better idea. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a great idea if you're looking to just maximize profits. But holy shit, 311 Yeo already? Christ. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Big taxes there too. Wow, that was huge. Holy crap. So now we can, uh, now we can pretty effectively upgrade our military settlement as well. This is going pretty well. The militarization is doing some, uh, Trozzy, every time you do that, it scares the hell out of me. <gasps> Jam and man whisk. What an interesting, <laughs> what an interesting double entendre of a wedding they're going to have. Right, let's get that all into place and then we'll start upgrading our, uh, We'll start upgrading our military settlement as soon as possible then. So what do we want to throw down here? Uh, we're still waiting on the other one to pop up. How much have we got? Oh, it hasn't updated yet. Hold on. 1,921. Shit. If we had like 80 more, we'd be able to build the uh, robot defense force. The fact that we've got robots defending our random crack houses and not our main base is um, it's very upsetting. What can we build, if anything? Uh... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> nothing. It's robots or nothing. Build the artillery outpost, but I'd rather I'd rather wait until we get like the 80 silver because that won't take 30 seconds to get. Oh, charge rifles. Oh, thank you. Oh, th thank you. A charge rifle you fucking shouldn't have. Ah, uh, yes. The drug scalpel we can use to give people bionics so that they can get better drugs quicker. Quest available. Trade with the LSD Fence Force. They want to buy a bionic eye. One of their people must have lost, lost an eye in the raid. Skill trainer medical. To be honest, that might help quite a lot. Three power cores. Uh, I'll take this one for sure. Okay. Fat Larry can do that in 30 seconds time. Uh, and we could get him to take a bunch of drugs as well. I mean, they're, they're right there. This is like such an easy quest. I think they only make offers on things you've got, right? Do we must have a Barnakai. If we don't, I mean, it won't take 30 seconds just to get Dong to, to crack one out here. Oh, that was a little bit expensive. And there's all our cash gone. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out we didn't have any gold or any plastic, so we couldn't make any advanced components, so we couldn't make that bloody barnet guy to take to the people that, who I promised that we would give an eye to. For some reason, Sloane keeps equipping fucking hemp fibers, and it keeps breaking the game. Sloane, fuck off. Put them on the floor. Don't touch them. I don't know why she keeps equipping them, but it, every time she does it, it fucks the game right off. There we go. It only cost us 3,700 silver, but we're going to make a profit of 1,000 silver. So, overall... <laughs> Fat Larry, what did you agree to? We're going to send Fat Larry a bionic eye and all the drugs he can carry. Excellent. All right, Larry, let's see what we can sell him then. Fulfill trade offer. Give bionic eye. Absolutely. There you are. Then let's go regular old trade. What can we sell that they want to buy it? They're actually up for buying it. Oh, look at how much silver they've got when we actually caravan over to them. Big Massive profits. What have they got for sale? Uh, Psy trainers. That's quite nice. Obviously, we can't do much with that. Um, so what else have you guys got? Sushi. Yeah, sure. Uh, bio interface components. What the hell is even that? For bees? Fuck it. Everyone's saying the bees are great. I'll, I'll take some anything that will help out with the bees. Hard shotgun. Ooh, wow. You got any armor? Uh, pirate sea... Sh I hate it. Leave. Leave. I hate it. No more fucking sea shanties. What the hell do you mean too much weight? Oh, because he's carrying <laughs> 35 kilograms of silver. Yeah, I'll probably do it. All right, Larry, you wait there. I'll send some, uh, I'll send some backup. Your Lee heard his profits were in danger. <laughs> <laughs> what a time to be alive. Okay, well, let's get you guys uh, merged and then we can head home now, right? Hey, there we go. False charge munitions are done. Military is done. Slona. Upgraded. Actual eyes that can actually see without being covered in scars. In has arms and can actually do work now as well. All we need is five more advanced components and we can finish off the storage, right? Is that the only thing we're lacking? Yeah, it absolutely is. Dong, 
Congratulations. Well, let's be honest. Resources are extremely slow on this map. We're not just going to be able to crack out a bunch of... I mean, we've got 65 steel left. We're not, we're not going to be able to make everybody charge rifles. So I think a more cost-effective, uh, smaller form weapon, I don't know, like, like regular on assault rifles or something like that, just as a, as, a, as a temporary middle ground. Not even a temporary, a long-term middle ground, but then with potential to upgrade to... Uh, charge rifles later on down the line when we've got better resources coming in. I don't know what the bees are capable of. If they can make us steel, great, fantastic. 65 plus steel, 5 uranium, and 2 advanced components per trooper armor. I don't think we can make any of that, can we? Nope, we don't have the uranium. Balls. And this is why I wanted to plant the cotton, right? Because there's, look, I mean, we've got the research, but we haven't got anything to do with it now. So let's make flat helmets. Let's make flat jackets. Let's make flat pants. Won't bother about the vest so much. Um, be nice to have, but it's not necessary. Let's do one per colonist. So let's just set everybody to have full flat setup. One per colonist plus X. No, 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 no. Just, just one per colonist. What the hell is even that? Look. Nerve enhancer. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go for... I mean, realistically, I should be going into, like, simpling components so that we can save on some, some resources, given that that's kind of a, kind of a problem. Rather than making everybody an assault rifle, which is pretty much outclassed by both of these research, I mean, we could go, like, the, the ball pops are pretty good, just as kind of an all-round thing. BDW is very fast, but obviously range is pretty shite on those. Carbines are pretty terrible for range as well. Battle rifles? Ball pop? I'm gonna go for you. As drivers, we go for full-on fucking coil guns. Very, very good against their karma. So I assume Yeo's combat with, uh, you know, making mechanos like way more dangerous would be pretty fantastic. What the hell is Crimson Bulb? Oh. Now I'm getting very distracted by the defenses, mainly because people keep complaining that my defenses aren't good enough. So uh, let's forget about that. Let's give people a gun. That's all we need. I don't, I don't care about that, but beyond that point, we, we need to focus on what we're here for. And that is cold, hard drug. Advanced profit drugs are music to my ears. Let's do it. Criminal Mink and Slona are no longer in a relationship. Oh, that's pretty good, because now Slona can go back and... Uh, because Slona and Caius, don't forget, are actually married. And she actually likes him. What a fucking tragedy. And they've actually gone back and... Fuck you, Slona. You, you, you deserve everything that you get. Also, really, really want to find out how to make this hemp biocomposite, because I think making everything out of that... Fuck off. I think making everything out of that would be... Actually really cool. Let's go take a look, see if we can find out how you make it. Hemp? Bio, it's just having bio composite. Composite. Advanced smoke leaf processing. There it is. Well, there's even something beyond that. What the hell? Where does that go to? Somewhere down here. Smoke leaf glitter tech? We can power the base with bros? I've never been so committed to an idea in my life. Is that man riding a. I genuinely thought they were riding a mandrill then. Mandrill meets a uh, man whisk. Then we'll get the whole lineup of man implements. Gee, to be fair. If we're making good enough profits, we might just be able to buy a full set of, like, charge weapons. And that seems a lot more legally. Import the weapons. Don't make it yourself. No, no, no. Just just trade it for copious amounts of drugs. What you guys got here? These are an exotic goods trader. And they've got fucking nothing of any use. Holy shit. Uh, I'm about the gold. I can't really afford it. Are you guys, like, uh... Drug? No? Oh. Well, forget I ever asked. You got to sell. Lots of smoke leaf. P uh, Fat Larry, pack your things. This is the whole point of Fat Larry. He's our peddler. He's got the high social. He's 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 got the he's got the know-how and the elbow grease. Let's send him out there. Former caravan. Where do you want to sell drugs to next? <laughs> yeah, the golden question. We've started to hear recently. We we can always we could go along there and then we could head to there and there and there and maybe do a loop back. To be honest, I think we'll probably run out of drugs to sell long before then. Take legally. No 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 no. What are you doing? Not legally. No no no. Fat Larry. Uh, Fat Larry, take Crack Joris. You ride on Fat... Uh, on, on I was about to call it Fat Joris then. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We've got to be careful we don't accidentally sell more than we can carry back, right? So why don't we take, uh, why don't we take Destruction as well? As a, as a pack out. 252 kilograms. That's fine. That's, that's some good shit. Do you want to take anything else? Sound some, like, buds? I mean, that's just stuff that we can refine down, isn't it? What's he got here? Hemp fibers. Suffer a fucking fortune if we were to get rid of all of that. Holy crap. Uh, for the time being, we're not that desperate where we'll have some hemp fibers. We might be able to do something with that, like the biocomposite, like some of the other crazy glitter tech level stuff. Go. 4.8. Oh, really? You're not going to get that. I mean, it is fat, Larry. I was about to say, it's not going to get that hungry, but uh, I don't know, as the name might suggest. Go get him, Larry. 
get those stonks. 2,355 from these guys. Thank you. Onwards, Larry. How long till we get to crack home? We gotta, we gotta keep an eye on our food a little bit. I mean, Larry always keeps an eye on his food. <laughs> the 2,621 for us right there. I actually really like this caravan mod too. The, uh, I think it's actually called Almost There. Because what we can do is we can basically make him rest whenever he gets to a settlement instead. And then as he's on the road, we can force him to, to plow on without him obviously passing out and the whole caravan stopping. I mean, it's a great problem to have, but it is still a problem in that we don't have enough drugs. We just don't have enough. I'm doing a lot of hunting right now, so I can make... Uh, this is moving on to my next point. Okay, the game's preempting me here. Package survivor meals. Fat Larry gets right out there into the world. There's a collection of about three or four settlements right next to each other, just north of us on the map. We send Fat Larry out with package survivor meals, like up here. Get these guys. If we go along kind of the main road, to be fair, it's only probably reasonable to hit those ones. He's not going to cross the fucking mountains to sell some smoke leaf. But we need to send him out with more drugs because those last people had still 2,000 gold that could be our gold that we just couldn't get from them. Having to do a bit of hunting to, uh, to f that's also why I've swapped out the bloody flamethrower, to facilitate Kai's being able to cook some packages of our meals. It's not going very well because we've got just a shitload of elephants. And elephants, when you shoot them, for some reason get really fucking pissed off. Yeah, see, that's... <sighs> Min's decided to attack them with a bow. Thank you, Min. It's not like I just replaced all of those limbs that you're about to get torn off or anything. That's fine. Fucking unreal. Please save Min. Please save her. Okay. That was close. Here he is, man of the hour, back with big profits. I assume they're on crack jars, which is why crack jars can barely move. Oh, look at this. Oh! I didn't even bloody notice. The digital storage unit's online. Hey, right. What do we want to put in there, then? Uh, ideally... Now, look, we've only got we've only got 100 stacks. Nine out of 100 already. I think the... Uh, I think if we can clear this room out and expand it into a much bigger workroom, because we have manufacturing research, right? Or at least I think we do. I bloody hope we do now that I've said it. Uh, yeah, we do. These, obviously, machining tables are massive. We've got the linkables, all the cabinets that come with vanilla are expanded. So, ideally, I want to bulldoze this whole thing, turn it into a big... A big uh, work area, especially because with the oil well in here, we're going to need a lot of room if we want to make those components out of steel. Uh, sorry, out of oil to save us on steel so that we can actually make other shit. Bear in mind right now, we kind of make flat helmets because we've got no resources left. So we might have stonks, but we don't have much else. But to be honest, isn't that what life's about? But let's say in here, no rotten, no fresh, no perishables. Any other manufactured raw resources or items. Weapons, the power will keep on display because we'll either want to smelt them down or equip them. Uh, buildings, that's like miniaturized stuff. So the art that comes out of the uh, the prison as well. And I guess maybe mech corpses. No, let's keep those on display as well so we can actually see and keep track of them. Steel slag chunks you could make an argument for too. So we'll go ahead and throw that in. But obviously they don't stack very much. We've got to be careful with that. And I'm happy to take all of this shit apart now. What a fantastic day for the colony. Productivity is up through the fucking roof. Fat Larry may have single-handedly put me onto the RimWorld caravan game. I hate a caravan in RimWorld. It's never worth the hassle of the, the, the raids and the traveling and the meals and everything else you've got to make. But when there's so much money to be made from it, money that you can then spend on gear and upgrades, it, it's, it's like an entirely separate playstyle that I never really considered. So Fat Larry might have done what this game has failed to do for a very, very long time. Friendship ended with drop pods. Caravanning with Fat Larry is my new best friend. That sounds like it could be a fucking second channel. Well, I guess fifth channel, sixth channel for me. Don't worry about it. Thank you for watching. Tomorrow, we head for whatever the hell Glitter Tech Smoke Leaf is. We'll try and get some, uh, we'll try and get some, uh, oil industry set up as well. Some, some Rimmerfella stuff. But like I said, I wanted this to be a, a bit of a lower level, uh, tech playthrough. So with the exception of the digital storage unit, Pretty much Rimmerfeller is going to be as high-tech as we get. And obviously the charged gear, but we can't even make that right now. So that's not massively relevant. Thank you to the patrons, of course, for allowing these series, these episodes, the mod packs and everything to exist in the first place. I have updated the Patreon list today. Uh, so hopefully all of you guys should be on there now. But if there are any problems with that, feel free to, of course, let me know as always. A thank you goes out to Utumno Unconquered, Soggy Noodle, Essidus. Flight Gamer, Furvale, Poseidon Sian, Elias, Cat, Skaz, Rage Dragon, Adam's Spleen, Bacon Kitten, Siphon, Helviticus, and Nikki Sticks, along with everyone else, of course, at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Big thank you to those guys, and a thank you as well to Ad Infinitas, 
Lanath, Craigon, Astros fan 12345, Aragon Awesome, Lucius Martius, Atreus Sen, Cass, and a good chunk of Balsa.